Whether you're renting or own your own home, large or small, it's easy to contain your cat within your house and yard. Many people are doing this already and enjoying all of the benefits. Satisfying all of your cat's needs in an enclosed environment can be very affordable to set up and will save you a lot of money in vet bills. Before you start, consider if you want to contain your cat just to the house or if you also want to enclose part of the yard, a deck or even your veggie patch. Keep in mind that cats need access to the house to feel safe, so any outside enclosure will require connection to the house. Some cats need more space than others. Does your cat like to climb and get up high? Maybe it has special needs due to ailments such as arthritis. Your enclosure will be one that suits both your cat's needs and your lifestyle. When I was building the house, I lived in the shed on the property for five years. Before I moved into the shed, I built an enclosure for the cats, which was just simple bush poles off the properties. We managed to pick up a second-hand fishnet from Tassel and some second-hand roofing iron to go around the bottom so the snakes couldn't get in. A little tunnel with aviary mesh and some second-hand timber to go from the shed into the cat enclosure. With our permanent enclosure that's attached to the house now, it's just a cat flap in the laundry door. And I've just tried to take the different sort of needs into account. So it's, we've paved the area, which is good for us too, because I have got my washing line out there and, and my rubbish bins. I've got the cat grass that they like to chew on. And with the enclosure, now we've got the large bed full of sawdust. So we can just go to the local timber mill and put as much as we can in the trailer for $10. and. That'll, and so there's no smell from the, from the cat feces or, or their urine, you can't smell it at all. And then that $10 worth of sawdust will probably take at least six months before it needs topping up. The run was custom built as an aviary for a large parrot. Um, basically for one reason or another he didn't like it, so we thought, well, you know, it's sort of a shame if we just let it sit there with no purpose and it was really quite close to the house. and. After looking online at what other people had done to make cat runs, we thought we could really make this work. And it was a matter of only building a two metre long bridge. Basically, we've opened up the door, we've put the tunnel in, yep. um, and then just the dowel stops the door, the door from, from opening, opening further. Yeah. And it's actually in place all with one screw. If we want to yeah. take the tunnel yeah. out and use this the tunnel. door normally, it's like one screw and we can take it out. And we can take it out, yeah. We've got a little cat highway in the hallway where it's literally stairs, like a little cat stairs, and they can run along the top of the ceiling. It was only pine, little pine boards that we painted, kind of thing, it looks quite nice. Probably a grand total of $100 to do that. It is important to remember to not let your cat outside when coming in and out of your house, and fly wire screens may not be secure. We were lucky. When we moved here, I saw advertised on Gumtree two catnip enclosures, which was a shade house, the large one, and a tower, the small one, plus a bit of tunnel on the toilet module. So it was a real bargain. And that gave me the idea of making our own tunnels and making a big enclosure. It's stiff wire, eight by four, I think. Then we had um, aviary clips. I made the catches myself by copying the catnip ones. The springs to pull them back and make sure they're tight were $5 each. The roll of netting to make the tunnels, I think it was 90 The The rubbery stuff I put down for the cats to walk on because they can't walk on the wire is gutter guard. And they walk along it quite nicely. Well, it cost under $300 and a fair bit of um, sweat and swearing. <laughs> deck was built already and the owner asked me to just enclose the deck here using cat netting. L-shaped zippers are part of the cat nets range and provides an access point within the netting. We recommend securing with a lock so visitors don't leave it open. And I use tensioning screws all around here. Underneath here there's tiny tensioning screws which you tension like a trampoline so it's nice and tight. That also makes it look quite invisible. Ensure your project is well planned and securely constructed. You may decide to do it yourself or contract a builder experienced in cat enclosures. 
The design will depend on your circumstances. If you are renting, you may want an enclosure which is easy to dismantle if you move. Enclosures can be a great addition to outdoor living areas, so your kitty can join in the fun. Generally, cat netting and adding enclosure constructions to a deck or outdoor doesn't require building approval, but if in any doubt, check with your local council. You may decide to enclose your entire yard, or part of your yard, connecting to the house. Cat netting is convenient, and specially designed to protect your cat from claw entanglement. It's easy to attach to your home and existing fences, and easy to take down if needed. Some types of bird or fish netting may also be used to save money. Make sure your cat has everything it needs within the enclosure and is not able to escape. Ocelot is another alternative. You use these two little rockets and when the cat jumps, the spins on them and they fall backwards again. Fence top systems allow your cat to access the entire backyard. They are best used on fences that are very even and have screwing points on the top. Fence corners may need extra protection and you also need to think about your cat getting onto trees or sheds and then jumping over the fence. These systems only work if your cat can't jump over them. There are many freestanding cat enclosure kits available in pet shops and online. These come in many different sizes, can be fairly easy to put together and are demandable and can be relocated. You can easily include shelves for your cat to climb and perch on, plus a scratching post, toys and catnip, plus the essentials, food, water and toilet. Remember, it is important to allow your cat access into the house. Just like in the earlier examples, this can be by cat flap or tunnel or both. 